Hello and welcome to Easy Does It. Remember to check below for links, details, and the great people I subscribe to on YouTube. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Plymouth Splash Screens. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go over what exactly is a Plymouth Splash Screen. Next, I'll go over how to install Plymouth Theme Packs. And then finally, I'll show you how to install your own Plymouth Theme. In Linux, Plymouth provides a graphical boot animation during the boot process that occurs before the root file is mounted. The Windows equivalent would be the manufacturer's boot screen. I've listed the four ways you can set up your Plymouth below. However, I really recommend you to do number three. With the Video Splash, you can mimic everything you could do with both a Plymouth Splash and a Video Splash separately. If you're not interested in Plymouth Splash, I would skip this part of the video. I'm going to show you how to set up option 1 to run a Plymouth Splash followed by a Video Splash. I'm going to open a session of Secure Shell and install the Plymouth Theme Pack. Type sudo apt-get install Plymouth Plymouth Themes. Click yes. Type sudo apt get install pix plim splash. The pix theme we just installed is now the default. Click yes. We're now going to change command line so that the splash will appear at the beginning. Type sudo nano boot command line dot txt. We're going to add splash, then Plymouth ignore serial consoles. Rather than remove Plymouth enable, I'm just changing the value to 1. Your RetroPie is now set up to play the Plymouth splash, followed by the video splash. Type Plymouth set default theme list to see all the themes you have on your RetroPie. Let's move on to adding your own image. I'm going to open WinSCP login and then I'm going to navigate to USR Share Plymouth Themes. I'm going to copy my logo into the Pix folder. I'm renaming the splash PNG file to splash underscore old PNG. Then I'm going to rename my file to splash.png. I'm basically tricking the script to run my file rather than the original file. Next, we're going to modify the script a little. We're going to comment out the message sprite so it doesn't appear during loadup. You can change the name of the file, but I've left it the same to keep this as simple as possible. We're going to exit and save the changes. We're now going to test the Plymouth Splash. I'm going to use Secure Shell to connect to the Raspberry Pi. This will allow me to view the Plymouth Splash remotely during the test. Type sudo Plymouth D. Type sudo Plymouth show splash. Hit the F4 key on your RetroPie to observe the Plymouth Splash. A monitor should be connected to your Raspberry Pi. Type sudo Plymouth quit to end the test. We are finally done. Type emulation station into your RetroPie to restore it. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe. And be sure to catch my next video. Thank you.